Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. Today is Monday. I feel like I have a lot to say and a little bit to show you guys. I've been, spent the last, better part of a week, the last six days through last night out uh, working at, on my ranch house. Labor of love, no doubt, but I'm kind of under this time crunch and so I've paid very little attention to YouTube, very little attention to the card world. Uh, I've been there focused on getting some things done, projects done out there before I go under the under the knife, getting my rotator cuff surgery next Thursday, which is it's like it's next Thursday. Not looking forward to the recovery of that, but understand that it's a necessity to get me right long term. Um, that being said, I haven't been paying tons of attention to what's going on. But uh, in terms of what's going on in the community and all that stuff, I've watched a few videos at night and stuff when I'm dog tired. But uh, when I got back last night, went to bed, went to work today, came home, started digging a little bit. And just like, the more I dig into the basement collection, I'm just having so much fun seeing what's there. And again, I only have a, a fraction of it. JT has most of it. Triple Crown 24 sports cards. He's already putting a lot of it up for sale. To that end, uh, JT and I on this channel on Baseball Collector are going to host a live sale. And what we're going to do is he and I are going to pull out stacks of vintage cards that we think you guys would be interested in and, and start selling them off. Uh, I mean, the massive amount of stuff we have, it's just, I think it'd be fun. And if I could get these cards that I don't need or that, you know, are kind of just extra into the hands of you guys, first and foremost, I'd rather do that than some blind random person on eBay. So it's it's gonna be a lot of fun. I don't know, just be paying attention. JT and I haven't figured out which day or, or whatever we're gonna do that. It'll be in the evening, one night this week or early next week, pre sir I gotta do it before the surgery. Uh, cause I'll be pretty loopy. Actually, I'd be selling stuff super cheap. You guys should get me when I'm on pain meds. So I'd be like everything for a dollar. And you'll be like, yes. Uh, no, we want to get that done this week, next week sometime. So hopefully, uh, pay attention to that. We'll put something out JT and myself will, but the, the live stream will be here and would again, would love you guys to be getting this stuff versus us. So, or versus random people. Um, yeah, uh, that's what's going on with that. I have, I have a few things to show you, uh, which will be out in the garage. Um, I'll take you all out there and show you kind of some stuff, just some bigger stuff that I'm really excited about having. And it becomes a question of where do I put it? So the last thing before I, we go to do that, um, I've already booked my room for Cleveland for next year. Uh, if you go to hotels.com, I'm no affiliation here whatsoever, but I wanted to let you know that we, uh, several people, I say we, me and, and several other YouTubers are already getting our rooms. It's really cool if uh, the way Cleveland is set up where the hotels are not near each other. It's not like, okay, I'm just over next door or whatever. They're, they're not near each other. So we are at the Cleveland, or the Radisson Cleveland uh, Airport West is, the, is where we're at. The Radisson Hotel Cleveland Airport West is where a lot of us have already started booking rooms. I would say kind of get on that if you're going to do it. That's where the YouTube get together is going to be. And then next year, and there's some other things in the works that you'll be excited about. I don't want to announce them yet because it's not a done deal. But when that happens, that could, that could be really cool. And that's kind of what's uh, what's going down. Uh, I'm excited to have that booked. I'm excited that a bunch of my friends are already booked there as well. So it's going to be great. Anyway, that is it for now. Let's go look in the garage a little bit. I'll show you some cool things I'm excited about having. Hang on. All right, so I'm out in the garage. Uh, this is kind of my... <laughs> this is the, bot, the case I'm going to go through first. I've got... This one, I've got several more tubs here. Um, 5,000 count box with all kinds of, this is all football, vintage football, 70s, 60s football. Um, but this box I'm super excited about going through because this has a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna ultimately keep in it. I started making my own pile. 
But the reason I wanted to bring you all out here is all of this stuff. I did, today I'm just gonna show you guys the stuff that's ultimately gonna go on a wall somewhere in my house, in my card room, something, somehow. Um, let me kind of move this stuff around. But the first thing was this awesome, I don't know what this is, but it's this awesome print of an uncut sheet that's not really an uncut sheet, it's a print of some kind of my favorite player. One of my favorite cards is the Gaudi Gehrig. So I love that. That's got to go somewhere in my room. Uh, then we've got these pictures that look like Tito Sixes. Uh, they're not quite, but it's baseball classics. It says short print. These are like an artist proof. Down here, they're numbered. Sorry about my shadows. I'm in my garage, so. Uh, numbered to 367 and then signed by the artist over here. But that Cobb is just so cool. That's got to go somewhere in my room. Um, there's an unframed Walter Johnson, same kind of deal, that print, and then a Christy Mathewson. Which, these are just gorgeous, and the matting is cool. I, I may frame them different. I really just don't know yet. Um, next up, I'm going to move something here. It's this huge print, Joe DiMaggio print, signed by Joe DiMaggio. Limited to 325 by John, somebody, an artist. Very cool, Yankee Stadium facade, I love that. And then this other picture with, it's just called Major League Ballparks, mid-1950s. So it's just got these awesome pictures of ballparks. I love ballparks. So that's just fantastic. That'll go somewhere. And then the last thing, something that Dave kind of brought me as an extra, is this Stars of the 50s? I think he's shown this before, even on his channel. He's got a Stars of the 60s as well. These were done by an artist named Bob Parker. And this one is customized, drawn especially, as you can see, for Carl Berg. I love that it's that it's that way. It's got Williams, DiMaggio, and Musial, signed by all three. I mean, done in 1980, this piece was. So, very special, very cool that's going to find a home in the card room too. So that's just some more stuff today, guys, just to show you a little bit of what I'm dealing with. This is, again, just the beginning. We'll talk to you guys soon. Keep collecting.